I would like to uh, discuss with you one of the recent topics. In the summertime this year, you have been a co-author of a systematic review and meta-analysis of ivermectin. And it's amazing work that you have done. But at the same time, I have evidenced so many criticism on Twitter, for example, from people who don't believe whether it works. Despite the publication being peer reviewed and proper medical trials were completed in many countries, I repeat, many countries around the globe. And then suddenly more messages were appearing where ivermectin, which was used to treat COVID, is being deliberately undermined, often without any scientific evidence. So what is your experience with this? Well, <laughs> You know, we never expect. I like, I like your smile. It really <laughs> sort of reflects where we yeah. are now. <laughs> we never really expected it to be so difficult to bring good news, you know, about uh, an effective treatment for COVID. And it just, um, it's just been a ridiculous uh, nine months. Of course, ivermectin is not the only treatment for COVID. There's many others, and uh, and it's used in combination with other safe generic over-the-counter medicines in many instances. So, um, yeah, you know, we're just, we've done the meta-analysis. There was a trial, there, there, there are detractors who are trying to pick at individual studies and, and are saying, well, if you remove these, then uh, it no longer works. But, you know, it's, it's totally absurd because we have doctors use, and patients using ivermectin around the world and it's clearly working and, and you know, the doctors are, are experts uh, and we have whole countries we have ministers of health ministries of health who have implemented uh, ivermectin use and they have um, shown that it it works so it's really ridiculous to we've gone so far beyond uh, meta-analysis which is just a few uh, it's you know 24 randomized trials in our in our review which are the top of the evidence pyramid but that doesn't mean the rest of the evidence pyramid uh, has to be ignored there must be hundreds of thousands of people now who've participated in a study where um, some people have received ivermectin and others haven't, um, and, uh, and it's been shown to benefit. So in my mind, it's really just a distraction. There are a whole lot, a lot of new drugs in development, and uh, COVID is just a massive industry in itself. Even if you, if you, you know, if you just think about it in terms of money, and I do think there's more to this than what's going on than just money. But if you just think about it in terms of money, the, you know, the top drug companies uh, and their investors aim to, you know, will will make fortunes and are making fortunes out of COVID which, uh, you know, in an approach that was never required in the first place because these safe old medicines existed. And in actual fact, COVID seems to have replaced the flu to a degree, although we do know that it differs from the flu um, in its mechanism of action. And the spike protein seems to be uh, key to, um, to the damage that's done. Yeah, so in terms of battle on, of ivermectin, um, I think... Um, one must be careful not to focus too much on that so that one loses the big picture of what's actually going on. 